All right, class. Today, we're going to be learning about black holes. Black holes can suck up anything. Nothing can escape a black hole. <laughs> How do you think my wife got pregnant? Hey, Cody, your mom has three black holes because she's a hoe. <laughs> and you have a black dad. Guys, don't bully me today. Hey, dude, you want a piece of gum? Yeah, sure, Joseph. Teacher, Joseph's chewing gum in class. Cody, you snitch. Joseph, no chewing gum in class. Spit it out. Fine, teacher. <laughs> Joseph, did you just spit gum in my hair? Yeah, my bad, dude. I didn't mean to do that. What do you mean you didn't mean to? You spit it right at me. I couldn't find the trash can. God, you didn't even try. Teacher, can I go to the clinic? I have gum in my hair. How'd you get that in your hair? What the hell you been doing in class, weirdo? Oh, you said gum. You can go to the clinic. Thank you. God, I hate you guys. Joseph, I think you really made Cody upset. He'll get over it, dude. Hey, Joseph, have you heard from Cody? No, dude. Not since he went to the clinic earlier. I hope he's okay. Yeah. Hey, jerks. Oh, hey, Cody. What's up, buddy? Oh, you still have the gum in your hair. Oh, you still have the gum in your hair. Yeah, I know. I do not sound like that, Cody. Why don't you just pull it out, dude? Yeah, why don't you just grab it? Oh, gee whiz, I hadn't thought of grabbing it. It doesn't come out. Well, why don't you take a shower and try to wash it out? I've tried that, too, Junior. Gum is sticky. Well, it says online all you have to do is put toothpaste in your hair and the gum will come out. Huh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, Joseph, grab some toothpaste. Okay, I'm on it right now, dude. Ah, I got it. All right, start putting on Cody's head. Okay. Well, I think we should put a towel down in case it drips off his face. <laughs> I've heard that one before. I'll go get the towel. Yeah, okay, the towel's down. I'm ready, Daddy. Uh... Why do you have your mouth open? Oh, sorry, it's just a habit. Okay, I'm ready now. All right, Joseph, put the toothpaste on his head. Okay, dude. <sighs> Ew. There we go. Well, how's it look? Now you have pink and blue on your head. It's like a gender reveal. <laughs> what gender are you? We can't assume it. <laughs> what, guys, now I, even, I have an even bigger mess on my head. Well, at least a pigeon didn't poop on it. Yeah, you'll be in trouble then, dude. Mm -hmm. What, guys, what do we do about the gum? Okay, look, why don't we go ask Chef Pee, Pee how to get gum out of your hair? Because, look, he, he works with food all the time, so he probably gets food in his hair all the time. Yeah. What? No, he has the opposite problem. He gets hair in his food. Oh, tomato, potato. Well, let's go ask him. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. This mac and cheese is going to be so good. Hey, Chef Pee, Pee what are you doing? Oh, I'm cooking mac and cheese, Junior. Wait, What's on Cody's face? That was a naughty little smurf. And he has gum in his hair. What? Yeah, he has gum in his hair. Look. Oh, oh, gum. Yeah, so how do we get gum out of his hair? It's stuck. Oh, it's an easy fix. All you have to do is stick your hair in this boiling water and the gum will disintegrate. I can't put my head in boiling water. It'll burn my head. Oh, not your head. Your hair, you idiot. Just your hair in the water. Yeah, yeah. And look, I'll, I'll hold you so you don't fall in. Uh, okay. Yeah, look, look. You want that gum out of your hair, right? Uh, All right, look, look, look. Oh, my phone's ringing. <laughs> I am so sorry, Cody. Junior, you dropped me in boiling water. My phone was ringing. Well, now I have third-degree burns all over my face. Look at the bright side, Cody. Now you can play as Deadpool, you know, because his face is all ugly. Yeah, I get it. Or Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader, because Darth Vader's face is all burned and ugly. Yeah, okay, I get it. Or Darth Maul, because his face is all red and scary. Okay, great. Are there any other horribly disfigured people I look like? Ooh, Freddy Krueger. Yeah, Freddy Krueger, because his, his face is all burned and ugly. Yeah, yeah cool. For, couldn't forget about him, yeah. Wait, wait, there's still gum in your hair, Cody. You know what? Just, just shave it off. I don't even care anymore. Oh, I've been waiting for you to say it, dude. All right, shape it, shape it. <laughs> and done. Oh, you are one ugly freak, if I do say so myself. Mm-hmm. I really love how it's just bully me day. Hey, Cody, look down. Uh, hey, Joseph, look, the top of Cody's head looks like the stains in my underwear. <laughs> he doesn't wipe. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. So look, Cody, look, at least the gum's not in your hair anymore. So when your hair grows back, it'll be beautiful. Yeah, but my face won't. Your face was never beautiful, Cody. It had all those pimples. And look, those burns really distract from the pimples on your face. Yeah. Well, that's great. I just don't know what my parents are going to say when I go home. Well, you don't have to go home. You can stay here as long as you want. Your parents will never know. <coughs> Who's that? Hello? Is Cody here? His black butt better be here. Uh, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, thank God. We were tracking him. We put a microchip in him at the vet. Yeah, it only cost $50. I know the veterinarian personally. She got ass for days. It's true, she does. And if I was a dog, I would beg for her to put me down every night. Put me down like a baby. Goo, goo, ga, ga. <laughs> well, well, Cody's upstairs. Oh, good, because we need to talk to him. I have to spank his little tushy for not coming home. And for not eating his Brussels sprouts last night, no! Yeah, that's right. It's a waste of Brussels sprouts. Yeah, he think we play about them Brussels sprouts. No, no, nah, we ain't playing. Oh, okay, well, Cody's upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Cody's right here. But Junior, what are my parents doing here? Cody, what happened to your face? And why didn't you eat your Brussels sprouts last night, boy? Okay, first of all, Brussels sprouts are gross. <gasps> you better watch your damn mouth before I make your face uglier than it already is. But Cody, what about your face? Well, my face fell into some boiling water. That's not how you bob for apples, boy! You don't bob in boiling water, you bob in regular water! You crazy? 
Well, I wasn't bobbing for apples. Then why are you sticking your head in boiling water, stupid? Well, if you would just let me finish, I was gonna say I was trying to get gum out of my hair. That's not how you get gum out your hair. You don't stick your head in boiling water. You go to the gas station for gum. What? No, no, no. I was trying to get the gum out of my hair. Well, jump in the shower if it's in your hair, boy. Mom, are you getting any of this? Cody, you look hideous. We should call a doctor. But, Mom, we can't call a doctor. Pablo doesn't have three arms. I mean, I know he's gorgeous and he's immensely talented and he's basically carrying the channel at this point, but there's no way he could play all three characters at the same time. Yeah, Cody, you're right. I'll go home so the doctor can come. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. Ugly, ugly, burn face bald is what you are. Uh, I'm sorry. Look, I got fired from the burn unit at the hospital because I just can't handle ugly or gross, and you're both. Well, his face got like that because he put his face in boiling water. Oh, is that what happened? I thought he was trying to bob for french fries in the grease. See, that's what I thought. See, he was bobbing for something. He was bobbing for something. Well, how do we fix his face? Oh, uh, well, there's three things we can do. One, we could find a magical genie lamp and wish for his face not to look so ugly. Or two, we could try to get a time machine and then go back in time to before he put his face in the boiling water and then stop him from doing that. Or three, we could uh, put some bandages on his face so we just don't have to look at him anymore. Ooh, let's go with that one. That one sounds cheaper. Yeah, let's do with that. Okay, I'll get the bandages. And done. Oh my gauze. I did it. You're good as new. Nobody would ever suspect that you're a horribly disfigured, burn face bald freak. You look like a mummy, boy. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. Anyway, my work here is done, rings. Just don't go putting your face in hot water anymore. I'm gonna go home and make sure your mama making Brussels sprouts and not on that damn computer. Sorry about all this happening, Cody. I almost feel like it's our fault. But it is you guys' fault. Joseph put gum in my hair and you dropped me in boiling water. See, look, that's why I kind of feel like it's our fault. So look, we'll make it up to you. We'll do anything you want. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. Okay, I can tell you how you'll make it up to me. You guys are going to play Magic the Gathering with me. Oh, that sounds like a nerd game. Yeah, for losers. And dumb people. Yeah, it is, and I want to play it. So you're going to take me to the store and you're going to buy me a deck of cards. Okay. I'm going to stay here, dude. All right, Junior, this is the one. You're really gonna make us play Magic the Gathering, Cody? Yes, now buy it. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, we want this. Oh my god, it's a robber! I'm not a robber! But you're wearing a ski mask! It's not a ski mask, these are bandages! I'm calling the cops! All right, you're under arrest. Wait, what do you mean? You just saw me, you put the bandages here! Yeah, tell it to the judge, criminal. I am so sorry for arresting you and- did you just take my hat, you little rascal? No. I see it right there in your hand. You know, I could have you arrested for that, but I won't, because I'm a fun cop today. Anyway, I'm really sorry for what that guy did to you in the holding cell. Well, I'm not really mad about that. I'm just mad you arrested me. Well, you do kind of look like a robber with those bandages on your face. Well, do, what? Don't touch me. Don't ever touch me. I'm in cop mode. I'll break your arm. Well, I was wondering, maybe you could just do a face transplant. Like, you'll give him a new face. A face transplant? You mean like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That'd be sick. Yeah, I can do a face transplant. That looks like a job for Dr. Man. -na 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 -na. Wait, you can really do a face transplant on Cody? Yeah, sure, let's do it. So guys, how do I look? Oh my God, oh my God, you guys, Jesus, what did I do? I'm a monster. Uh, where'd you get the face from? Somebody died in a car accident and they donated it, but now I want to give it back. So how do I look? Oh God. Oh, well, come on guys, I don't look that bad, do I? What? No, no, I look okay, right? But show me. What, what the hell is that? What, oh, oh my God, is that me? Oh my God, that's me? Get it off! I don't want it anymore. Oh my God, get it off me! Oh, look, Cody, Cody, Cody. Maybe, maybe you'll grow into it eventually, right? But really, you think I'll grow into it? But, well, nobody at school's gonna notice, right? Hopefully not. <laughs> Oh, my bad, dude. I just had to throw up. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, I think he ate some bad food earlier, right? Not not because of my face, though, right? Oh, no, buddy. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to go. Uh, see you tomorrow, dude. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see you at school tomorrow, Cody. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, nobody's going to notice. I feel confident enough to go to school now. Yep. yep so, you can leave. I don't, I don't want to oh, look at you anymore. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. Dude, you scared me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot to bring a pencil. Hey, Penelope, can I borrow a pencil? Sure, Cody. Ah! or something. Joseph, can I borrow a pencil? <laughs> oh man, Joseph must have a stomach bug. Hey Junior, can I borrow a pencil? Um, yeah, sure. I, I don't have one. Oh, okay. Alright, Crass. Today, we are doing yearbook pictures. So I hope you work your best today. Yearbook pictures? Oh no! I have a stain on my shirt. Now my picture's gonna be ruined. Oh, that's what's gonna ruin it? 